Let's play Plead the Fifth with Orlando and the Freak Show on Wild 94.1. Meredith, a.k.a. Auto-Tune, Here I am. is ready. She is sworn in, and she uh, raged it out this weekend. <laughs> Must have. Yeah, yeah, so she had a big party going on here. So uh, I think it was the sixth birthday for the sixth birthday b- birthday girl. Yes, this girl has had too much fun, I would say, lately with the Disney Cruise and then Discovery Cove, and now she had her birthday party with her friends. Yeah, so she's been turned up. I don't know how y'all are going <coughs> to live past this for next year. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when seven hits, boy, it's going to be a time. Exactly. All right, so uh, we got three questions that come from the room. Uh, we have three questions that come from the audience, and uh, we also have a boomerang that you can shoot back anything that you've answered feel free to uh let us have a shot at it so i am first okay uh meredith yes i want to ask you in your career you've spent nine ten years here yeah and before here you were um uh, on the mj show mm-hmm. over at uh the, the, the 93 so so you've had a long career here i want to know um any time in your career that you thought unequivocally I'm about to be fired. Uh, it has that ever happened to you? Maybe it hasn't. Multiple times. Multiple. Multiple times. Um, Keep it low. I'm trying. Okay. <clears throat> okay. There you go. Deep voice. Deep voice. Um, so, working, especially on the MJ Morning Show, I definitely thought I was going to get fired. Maybe ten times for sure. Ten. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. Um, Pulling the wrong audio because I was new in town. I didn't know the job. Um, Getting yelled at sometimes off air about certain things. Um, I definitely thought I was going to get fired after I was caught smoking something green. Um, Oh, my God. At work? Was not at work. It just was, in life? Oh, just in life? <laughs> <laughs> Donnie's like, you can do yeah. that? <laughs> it, was, it was at a work event. Oh, mm. oh yeah, yeah. You can get fired for yeah, that. You can't yeah. do that. Yeah. Were, yeah, that's in the rule books, I think. There were kids walking by, and then they snitched and told their parents, and the parents got upset, and then they called the cops, and then the cops started like getting really in my face, and then they kicked me out, basically. And then oh yeah, you were supposed to get fired. Everybody found out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I got written up. Um, so yeah, definitely, one hundred percent. Okay, all right, yeah, wow, yeah, you're a rebel. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Meredith, I'm gonna keep it simple with you. It's a question that I think we've all kind of wondered at one point oh, or God. another. What is your body count? Was my body count? The streets want to know. Your, oh yeah, let's plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, am I going to come for you. <laughs> you better watch out. Um, I mean. You can tap out. Uh, That's what it's there for. Okay, I'm going to tap out on that. You're tapping out on that, really? Yeah. On oh, the body count. On yeah. oh, the body count. I have to. I have to. Okay, oh, Davi. Wow. All right. Uh, you, uh, going once, going twice. Yeah. You sure? Okay, yes, all right. yes. Wow, we didn't want Whoa. that math out there. Huh? No. Okay, not a All terrible right. use of the plea. I yeah, would say. I would say you know happy happy house. Yeah, out of respect for my family, I'm thinking maybe that's not the best one to answer. All right, we go. There I don't want to come home and Anthony's like, excuse me. Yeah. In respect for my family, I'm glad you tapped out so that didn't get boomerang back. <laughs> yeah. yeah she can't say that one back. <laughs> Woo, very true. All right, so uh, Buck, you're next up. So Meredith, yes. since your voice sounds like. The poltergeist yeah. or a witch or something. Yes. I'm going to ask you a Halloween-ish question. Ooh, okay. Um, you know, I was watching scary movies with my son last night, and he asked me if ghosts were real. So I want to know, have you ever seen a ghost? Okay. So I've definitely had some encounters, mm-hmm. weird ones. Um, I lived in St. Augustine for a while, and that city is very haunted. Yeah. It's one of the oldest cities in our nation. Um, the graveyards there, they do ghost tours and stuff, but it really, it was, um, in my house when my family wasn't there, just like weird lights turning on and weird noises and stuff like that. And that at that time that was a new build. 
Um, and just being scared. I think I was a t- I was a teenager at the time too, so I was kind of I don't know in the house all by myself and alone. And maybe I was coming up with stuff, but it's known. Like even going to school there, like it's very haunted. It's that ghosts creep around, and there's like the oldest jail in the nation there, and that's super duper haunted. So I would absolutely say yes. I've had some kind of weird things that have definitely happened to me in St. Augustine for sure, one hundred percent. And you, yes, you still believe in ghosts? You think they're real? Sure. Okay. Yeah, why not? Wait, okay. Wait, where did that come from? Of course I, they're real. I just wanted to verify. You think they just answer. made it up? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> why, okay. why can't ghosts exist? A lot of people don't believe in ghosts. I'm not really buying it. See? Honest, you don't buy ghosts? Nah, not really. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't like, what about aliens? Spirits? Like spirits and stuff like that? That's what, that's what a, oh, don't get me into this. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, there's some ghosts out here. <laughs> woogity, woogity, woogity. Oh, no. All right, that's three questions in. She doesn't have a pass, and now it's three uh. questions on y'all. 888-429-0941. You got those coming up and a boomerang. Don't move. All right, so we got Plead the Fifth Action, Meredith's edition, and she answered the question on if she had ever thought she was going to be fired. Like 10 times. Apparently, the devil's lettuce got to her. <laughs> uh, and uh, Davi wanted to know that body count. She hmm. tapped out. I did. She's like, I'm not going home. Happy spouse, happy house. So she's not going to take that back into the house. And we found out about ghosts. Apparently, she lived in the most haunted place on the universe. <laughs> What was it? St. Augustine? St. Augustine. St. Yeah. Augustine. Bad spot. She dealt with some ghosts. Davi doesn't believe it. He thinks it's Cap. Yeah. All right. She uh, now it. has three questions that are coming in from the audience. Let's see what we got here on the Meredith Files. Uh, we have a text out the 727 that says, Meredith, do you have any fetishes that no one knows about just your husband? Ooh. Um, Fetishes. Do tell. Uh, let me see here. I mean, if I could involve, like, a little bit of food... In the bedroom. Food fetish. Food? food? <laughs> Every now and then. What kind of food? Like, um... Doritos? Like a, no. Oh. Not to get Ruben What'd you say? Sandwich. Doritos? <laughs> Doritos. <laughs> he thinks I'm like, not a Reuben or anything like that. Um, Like a chocolate syrup or maybe some whipped cream or like ice. I like using ice, definitely. Okay. Okay. Ice uh-huh. on you or ice on them? Whoever. Ice. Whatever. Ice if you get to choose, though, <laughs> would you rather be the giver or the receiver? I want both. Oh. Okay. Both, right. definitely. Okay. Just because it, it just brings a different kind of feeling, I guess. Wow. All right. Uh, you have a question. Since you tapped out on the body count, they're going to respect that. And they said, so, Meredith, oh, God. tell us Anthony's body count. Uh, uh, okay. I can do this. I have no idea. He's never once admitted to me ever his body count. I have asked a million times. I have asked a million different ways if he was intoxicated or not over the years. And he just, he says he doesn't know. And that's where it is. Wow, that's smart. It's such a lie, too. That's a wise man right there. All right, let's see here. We got a call. Uh, who's on the line? I believe it's uh, Jeremy is on the line. Jeremy, you got a question for Meredith. She has no pass. Yeah, I got one, man. I got one. You better be nice. Be nice. Oh, no, I'm not being nice. You know, <laughs> one. You know I'm coming for you, man. If I'm sorry, but we want to know which one of Anthony's brothers would be fast. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Wow. Now, how many, how many brothers does he have? Oh, my God. He has two brothers. He has two brothers. So All there's right. options. <laughs> there's, 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 there's options. <laughs> okay. I mean, are they are they taller than him? Yes. Are they younger? Are they, what, yes. Give us a description. They're both younger uh-huh. and they're both taller. Okay. Oh. All right. Are they cute? Oh. Yeah, they're both really cute. Yeah, they're young. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay. So if you had to pick one. Oh, God. This yeah. is this is not good. Go, Jeremy. This is not a good question. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and they probably are going to hear about this, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Jeremy might tell him himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith. Yeah, so if you had to choose, what are their names? What, uh, what are their names? Uh, really? Yeah, really? I mean, like, I mean, just so we can make sure and tell them tell them apart. Okay, so there's Jordan. Jordan. Okay, Jordan. Jordan is going to be 30 soon. Okay. He has right. tattoos. He has tattoos. Yes, he owns his own um, vintage T-shirt shop in all right. downtown St. Pete. Business guy. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. And yes. and then the other. Um, Grant. I Grant. Believe. Grant. Yes, Grant. He's about to be 27, I believe. Okay. He also a little younger. Also owns his own company. Oh, so both of them are kind of yeah. okay. So these are good choices, he's man. A, he's more of a handyman, so he fixes a Uh-oh. lot of stuff for apartment complexes and houses and stuff like that. Okay, so out of uh, the handyman businessman who's younger, or uh, uh, the, which is Grant or Jordan, who's oh a God. little taller right, and a little bit more right. experienced. This is not good. Who would you choose to tat out <laughs> behind Anthony's back if you had to choose one? Oh God, this is terrible. Flip a coin. Okay, here we go. I guess I'm going to pick Jordan. Jordan, I knew it. 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 It's yeah. the tattoos. I knew it. It's the tats. <laughs> it's the ink and the t-shirts. Yeah. Is there a reason why Jordan got the uh, nappy dugout? Um, <laughs> <laughs> really, Orlando? I'm just saying. It um, I think it's more. They both have very similar like personalities and all that. I think like uh, Jordan's a little bit more carefree, and yes, it's the tattoos and the bad boy thing. Yeah, I like that. Okay. That's good. All right. Very good, Jeremy. We appreciate that yeah. right there. So, I appreciate y'all, man. I hate this you. Great. I hate y'all you. made my point, man. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you, fam. All right. You got you uh you answered all of them. You got a boomerang you can use. Okay. So I know Davi says he doesn't believe in ghosts, but have you guys <laughs> ever had any experiences with any kind of hauntings or anything weird going on in your house or anything like that? I have not. I'll get mine out of the way. No, I haven't had any ghost sightings, experiences, haven't felt anything, seen anything. Nobody's moved, touched, turned on, turned off. Never happened. Um, I have, but it was like as a kid. Um, there was something in the house, and I got scared, and I ran across the street. What was it? It was a ghost. It was a real ghost? What do you mean? Like, you believe it to this what, day? What I, to happened? this day, I believe it was a ghost. My, my parents were gone. My, my sisters and my brother are older, so they I was the only kid at home. Mm-hmm. And I'm doing my homework, and I heard, like, you know, something, a noise, and nobody was in the house. And so I looked, and I saw, like, something. It was an, it was an image floating across from my kitchen past the dining room, and, like, like, it was going into the basement. Right there, I was just like, okay, that's weird, and I kept staring at it to see if I'd see it again, and I saw this. It was almost like you uh, you pixelate an image. Yeah. It was like a pixelated thing going across the wall, and it was a white wall, so I'm like, yo, what is that? So I grabbed my coat. I mean, I had like a t- I had my Catholic school uniform on, so I had my dark pants, whatever. Grabbed a coat on the outside of that and ran over to my neighbor's house, and they were headed to like go to church or something, and so I ended up going to church with them. No cell phones, no nothing. I came home with my, and my parents had been looking for me. They couldn't find me. Police was involved, oh, like because I wasn't home. And they were like, "Yo, he locked up the house." But what happened? Where did he go? And so yeah. Oh my gosh. So I I I, I told him it was a ghost. My mama was like, "Next time you fight that ghost, you don't leave this damn house no more." <laughs> blah, 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 that blah. was the only safe spot for you to go to church. I mean, well, I know. I just I mean, when I came over there and told them about it, they were headed to church. I was like, I kind of wanted them to just <laughs> let me stay. Yeah. But I ended up having, and I looked all horrible. I mean, I was in there with like boots on and some. <laughs> Uniform pants, a T-shirt. <laughs> it wasn't church attire, so I, I, yeah, my mom was not happy that I left. Just oh, looking man. bad, but I, I swear it was a ghost, right? Because <laughs> what, what else? Can be? <laughs> I'm at home by myself. There's no reason for any kind of lights to be going on through the house, making some sort of movement and noises. You as a little kid with a vivid imagination, oh, you nah. just seeing things, and the ghost never came back. Come on. How dare you make his feelings? I mean, invalid. whatever. Hey, that thing was real to me. <laughs> you just haven't had your eyes open enough to I know haven't. when they're around you. Exactly. Yet. Right. That's what I'm saying. Right. He was all but the devil's lettuce. Yeah, That's what yeah. it was. I was painfully soaked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Exactly. What, what, what's your? I know you'd have some so, out in the woods. Oh, of course, of course. I've had multiple ghost encounters, but I'm gonna tell you the one that scared me the most. I was a kid. I had my friends, three or four of them over. We're on sleeping bags in the living room playing Nintendo all night. Right. At some point, we all fall asleep. TV's off. We're all next to each other on the living room floor. In the corner of the living room, there's a desk with a big black leather uh, office chair over there, right? So we're laying there. 
fall, you know, we're all asleep. So, some reason I wake up in the middle of the night and I open my eyes and I kind of catch movement in the side of my eye and I look over and this big black leather chair turns all the back of it is facing us. No. It turns slowly oh. and faces us. Hell oh. no. What's in the chair? I'd have been out. Nothing. Oh my god. I, I'm covered <laughs> in uh what is it, sleep paralysis where I'm frozen. I can't move. I go to scream. Ah, nothing comes out. Sound like Meredith. Yeah. Frozen <laughs> frozen like a block of ice. Terrified. I'll never forget it. It, wait, the chair moved by Damn. itself and the, you couldn't move. The chair turned That's ghost. around. That's ghost right there. It couldn't have been any of the other little kids in the sleepover nope, messing nope. with you. I was the only one awake. That's and they were the all only answer you come up with is yeah. that the chair moved that's, because a kid moved it? I, you don't think that's the more plausible answer? No. A ghost is more plausible what, what than may, what one of his, his friends? What makes sleep paralysis happen? Nobody was up. Nobody was up. Because he was being... I, I don't know. I don't know what made his sleep paralysis. That's... The whole, they I don't say know. Buck, Buck do was that. being he was being soft. They said ghosts do that yeah. when they're like, so you can't move, right. and so you can't like they they get on your chest. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all sound real spooky well, yeah, right yeah. now. You know what? It's supposed to sound spooky. It's about go- shut up, Dolly. You know. All right, Meredith, you are officially got through yours. You are uh, ready to wrap. Thank you. Auto tune is done. <laughs> She's still mad that she got a relationship going on with Jordan. Oh, my God. (laughs)